Yo, what's going on guys? Ryan here, and today, in this episode, as you can see we got some stuff here in the inventory, we're going to be turning these guys into an unlimited food source. So, let's get it. Uh, let's change that out. We're going to that should be enough room. I don't think you need not a lot. Let's do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do. We're gonna try and quickly build this. I'm trying to build it off memory. Uh, and it's gonna be this, this, up with it. Piece of glass in the front, like that. I'm gonna get too high with the glass. Go like that. Oh, did I make? Yeah, I didn't make the dispenser. The dispenser goes. I need the dispenser first. I can't do it without. How do I make it this? I need a bow. Oh, I don't even think I have the stuff to make it fun. I literally don't have the stuff to make a bow. Oh, okay, we are gonna go steal some sugar off of Max quickly. Haha, <laughs> bring it back, guys. Okay, so there we have it. I did steal a lot of sugar off of Max, but uh, I'm sure he will not mind. I believe to place the dispenser. Did that just get snagged into that armor? I totally did. I believe to, for the dispenser to work. Uh, it needs to be placed this way. That looks right. I'm not too sure though. Uh, either way, let's keep building. Uh, we're gonna need a block here and a block. Here. This is going to be one of these. I'm going to put you coming out of the back. Two seconds. Rest and repeater. There and there. Okay. I had to quickly check the picture. Make sure I wasn't going to build it wrong. There's that. So. That should be that ordeal. That's pretty much the gist of that. Let's grab this and this. This, that. And then we'll build this back up to the same level. Place you in there. Definitely in case of that. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough to go too high. I'm gonna grab more stone. I don't wanna mix it up. I want it to look even at least. So Grab some more stone. Good thing I've smelted a bunch. Uh, this is going to be the staircase up to the top of the chicken farm, I guess. There we go. Do that. Do that. Do that. So chickens go in here. I'm going to test it with uh, inventory full of eggs. Do that. And we should be able to just. I hear eggs being shot out. Are they going to shot out the front? I believe they're getting shot out of the front. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Oh no! Oh, I'm an idiot. No, pick up the lava. Stop that. Stop, 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 stop. 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 God damn it. That's not a fun mistake. So apparently it was facing upwards, which means Am 
must have. Oh, I placed the hole that way. Oh god. Get the glass back up. Get that up on from there. Do that. Now it's working properly, right? It is. There's gonna be. up and we fixed it all in one go guys so that's fine now the next goal get some wheat we're gonna sleep then we gotta get some wheat seeds oh, the bed's upstairs. at least we'll just grab the wheat seeds first let's run upstairs sleep quickly and then the hard part of transferring all those chickens into the uh whatever that is the pen i guess the pen Sounds too nice. The the jail of uh, give me your eggs. Ready for it? There it is. Chicken explosion. We will all eventually find our way out. Yes. Come on, my chickens. Come, come, come. In you go. Oh, up here. There we go. Push them all in. It's going to be a very slow process, this, but uh, definitely going to be worth it in the end. You get enough. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, gosh, I'm getting my cheap boots. chickens in there. This might take a bit of time, but in the end it will be worth it, because we will have a chicken coop generator. There we go, push each other in. That's what we like, keep pushing, keep pushing, until this is full of all the chickens, then I can manually just come in. Pump you all in. Shouldn't take that long. It looks like a lot of chickens in there already, guys. So, oh, I hear it working. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Damn it, that's unfortunate. You know what? These ones. Sure, I can get some more chickens later on. I'll just breed some to make up for these lot. Who knows? Maybe they'll wander in there by themselves. What we can do is just. We'll spawn a bunch more chickens in there. We're gonna go throw all these eggs in here, guys, and turn down our chicken noises, then we will be right back. I have arrived. Behind you, I just slashed home. <laughs> oh, there you go. Right, ah! So, yes, you have a, you have a glass helmet. You're an astronaut. I, I'm an astronaut now. Yes, thank you for noticing. All right. Um, do you have a ranged weapon, like a, even a snowball, uh, or a bow, anything like? I can get a snowball real quick. Actually, here, here. I have, a, I have an extra bow on me. Hold okay. it. Just take that. I'll take some arrows just in case. Sounds good. Alright, so we're gonna go in here. This is uh, to the words a new nether hub. New nether hub. Alright, let's go have a little look at this nether hub. I hear she is in the works. Oh, what the fuck? It works. Um, oh. So I built uh, like a miniature type train station thing. I still okay. didn't put the station sign on there, but. What is that skeleton doing up there, eh? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> so this is a little train station area. Uh, the rails so do actually good. work. 
this goes towards Saros, Saros uh, base. There's a portal oh, there. Oh crap! The bees. Um, some people haven't linked it up yet. This goes towards uh, my farms and stuff like that. But oh, this no. is the beast itself, the giant orange ring in the sky. Oh, my render distance is really low. I don't even see it, dude. Oh, you see it? Don't worry. <laughs> This will generate you from level uh, 0 to level 30 in approximately less oh, than 2 minutes. I see stuff spawning, I see scaffolding. Yeah, so uh, what level of XP are you right now? I am 38. 38? Oh, okay, so I mean, you'll still be able to see its strength, but you can go from level 1 to level 30 in less than 2 minutes on this thing. Holy crap, okay. And that's not even an exaggeration. Like, you can ask uh, Saruk and us. Uh, and phobia, it's insane. That's crazy. Not only do you get XP from it, you also get golden nuggets because it's a pigment farm, and you actually get uh, bartering. So, the pigmen drop iron ingots, and there's actually a pig Lin sitting in there, and he picks up the ingots oh, and barters automatically. Okay, that's sick. That's a wall quarters. Oh, I'm seeing big rings spawning in above me. Holy crap. It, it's <laughs> double layered as well, so. I, I see you. Jesus Christ. I see pigmen and every. I'm guessing I have to hit one of these pigmen. But not just yet. Alright, all right. you show me how she's done, buddy. You show, so, show. basically, the safe way just to get out is you slash home, right? That's the safe yeah, way to get out. So, you, what you do is you go over here. That's the whole electronic system. You can actually see the piglin in there. It was oh, a pain yeah. to get him in there. Yeah, that's So, what you do so is rough. you basically jump. You, you jump, I'll place blocks though to make it easy. So. Oh, okay, I see, I see. And here, you, you go first, you go first. And you crouch to get in there, and now you can stand up. Mm -hmm. And it kind of locks you in. And oh, you want to yeah. go, like, to the, like, most leftist corner. Mm -hmm. Left Like, you look corner. forward and left. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, j just like that. And so I'm going to stand back here, and I'm going to start mm -hmm. going down the scaffolding. Um, once I start going down the scaffolding, shoot a pigment, except for the one in front of you on that mm -hmm. slab. So, oh, okay, 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 okay. I see. I yeah, see. so that that's like the satellite pigment. You never want to hit him. All right. So what, once you hit one of them, he'll relay all the information that they're mad at you, and they'll charge you. Oh, I see what you mean. All right. Let me know when I can, so, when I can hit this. Yeah, I'm starting to go down. Uh, all right. So shoot that shot. Oh, shot it. Did you Sh hit? Shot's been shot. All right. And all I have to do is just sit there now. Nothing else. I don't even have to hit. No, just sit there. Okay. Oh, it's so loud. Yeah, I turn your bomb down. Okay, that's off. That was loud. Best, like the fast way is when nobody's in the Nether. Yeah. So I'm about to like exit okay, how, out. Okay. How? How am I getting XP? Uh, so the way that works is um, that wherever the, the pigmen are actually falling into, there's 25 minecart mine, uh, mine carts sitting there. And the way that works is using entity cramming. Um, because there's so many entities just in that one block radius, the pigmen, since it's a new entity, when it drops down, it automatically starts taking tons and tons of damage. So they almost get one-shotted whenever they uh, go down there. And that obviously goes down towards the soul sand where the XP gets scooped up to you. The items are hoppered up and filtered between nuggets and uh, and trash. Okay, cool. So I can literally just sit here and get XP is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. You sit there for two minutes from level one and you're already Dude, level I went from level insane. 38 to 40 before I even noticed I was getting XP. I know. I thought I was going to have to like actually do work. I'm literally sat here just getting XP. This is insane. Yep. How long have you worked on this? I mean, probably six to eight hours. <sighs> Buddy, there's so many pigmen. They just less than half in. of that was um, less than half of that was just farming magma. Oh yeah, I guess you had to get all the magma blocks and stuff, eh? It, it's not that hard because like when you find a magma, th their vein is upwards of a hundred blocks. So, oh, okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, but just the fact of getting that much magma, that was maybe two to three inventory fulls of magma. Jesus. So, how do you get the trader stuff? So, what the pigmen, like, not a lot of people know this, but pigmen actually do drop uh, golden ingots from time to time. Yeah. And so, the um, I, you could might have seen in the glass area before we, you jumped up, there was actually a pig Lin sitting in a minecart yeah, there. Yeah, I did see that, I did see that. And so, he's like basically 
right beside them, like diagonally. And the way that works is he picks up. Oh, one second. Yeah. All right, good night. And so basically, the way that works is he diagonally picks up the the ingots. Okay. Trades it, and the hopper work gets. Oh, so good. it just picks it all up in the hopper, so you can look at your trades afterwards. Is there any way to safely exit this and check the trades without having to slash home? Really? No. Because they will just they will murder you and knock you off. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> but like, see, the thing is, it works well for me because my home portal is linked up towards there. So. Yeah, exactly. My home portal is linked right under. Yeah. I'm gonna slash home. I want to look at this. Some of the trades that this guy gives. I want to. I want to know how that system they works. Uh, once everybody exits the nether, it reset. Yeah, so now they're not angry at me. Mm -mm. Alright, cool. I'm gonna run back. Dude, I got 47 levels. I went from 38 to 47 in no time whatsoever. That is insane. And what's your, what's your, what's your going rate for this? Because there's no way you should be giving this out for free. It is, it is offensive, I'm not gonna lie. How much are you charging people? Well, I don't sell it um, any higher than 10 minute increments. Okay, fair, fair, fair. As well as... I think per minute it'll cost you like 5 diamonds. Ooh, fair, honestly, that is a fair trade. You can, in a minute, you can get 30 levels, so like... Yeah. Oh, dude, these guys are... Alright, I'm climbing back up, I wanna see some of this sport. What's in this box of trading? Yeah. I hope you have building blocks with you because you're gonna have to actually like, kind of build out to the chest and then break. Oh, it back. okay, okay. Yeah, I got, so they I got some stone blocks there. with me. This is well weird that you're on top of the never. Like, it's so ambient and quiet up here. This is crazy. It's, nice, it's, it's peaceful for this. It is nice and peaceful, man. Like, you turn off your sounds and you can just chill up here, you're not getting shot by ghasts. Let's get ourselves up here and have a look at some of these trades. Is it? Do you get any like insanely good stuff from this guy, or is it just like mediocre? Yeah, it's all speed, three book and boots. Oh yeah, I bet. Dude, you should start a bookstore. I'm guessing it. I actually do. <laughs> I, oh, I, I have at least. I have to build an actual location, but I do have a whole enchantment book and item store. So basically, I have almost every enchantment on a book. In almost every tier. So those soul speed boots, I have already got two pairs just from AFK them. Dude, this is insane. There's like you get magma cream and stuff. What where does this all filter? Is that all filtered to the bottom then? Oh, golden nuggets are all there. Oh, the chest is um it all filters from the bottom. One chest is full of nuggets, one chest is full of items. That's so cool, yeah. Man. That's insane, that works well as well. Steal some of that string, you could use some of that. They dropped some random stuff, eh? That's pretty cool, man. That is, that is wicked. Well, how much do I yeah. owe you for that trip there? Or is that the, is that, no, a, that, that that's, that's the free that's trial? The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, that is insane. I am definitely going to be using that to do some insane Crop like actually, enchanting uh, and stuff, so I'm setting up a trident farm right now. Actually, you're doing a trident farm as well, dude. You're insane. You're flying through the server. I can't keep up. <laughs> it's like a six hour stream today of just content and building and stuff. I built the entire train station there on the VOD, so that's sick, dude. Nice.